Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use the line art modifier in Blender. Now this is probably Blender's coolest modifier in my opinion. It gives all your objects an outline and makes things look a lot more cartoony and gives it more of a style. So I'm going to show you how to use it pretty quickly because it's really simple to use. So the first thing you're going to want is an object. I'm just going to use this monkey head because it has a lot more detail to it so you can see a lot more of the lines. And I'm going to add a subdivision surface and I'm going to turn that up to 2 and apply it. You don't have to do that but this is just that the lines will be smoother. And I'm going to turn on shade smooth so that the lines will be smooth. And one thing I know a lot of people forget about is that you need to have a camera in the scene to use the line art modifier. If you don't, you won't see any lines. So I'm just going to add a camera in front of it. And I'm going to just make sure that that is pointed where I want it. And so far it is not. Let me just rotate that in front of the monkey. And I'm going to go into the camera view and just zoom out to where the monkey is the only thing that I see. And real quick, I'm just going to apply a material to the monkey. I'm just going to go to the material mode. Um, let's just make a, a green monkey. And now I'm going to actually add the lines and things like that. So the first thing you want to do is go add a grease pencil, which is over here in the add menu, and pick stroke. Once you do that, you'll have a little stroke in your scene. That really does nothing right now. But in the stroke on that object, if you go to the modifiers, you can select a one that says line art. And if you hit that, as you can see, so far nothing has happened. But you can hit source type. You have collection, object, and scene. Now, collection will make everything in that collection have line art on it. Scene will make anything in the entire scene have outlines and things like that. And object will just do it to one single object, you know. So I'm going to turn it to scene just to make sure everything has the line art that I want it to. And if you pick a layer, you want to hit lines. And then you need to select a material for it. You can make your own or just pick one of these. I'm going to pick one of these. And you can see we can have the line art be black. See, they got all kinds of colors. White, red, blue. Right now, I think I'm going to turn it to, um, I think I'll do black because we can see that the best. And the next option you see is we can change the thickness of the lines. You can actually make these pretty thick, or you can make them pretty thin. The default is pretty good, though. And you see there's a few different things that you can check on the uh, modifier. You can add light and things like that. And there's a bunch of really cool stuff. And you can also bake it into an, into an animation so that it doesn't have to process the line art every time. But one thing is wherever the camera is pointed is where you will see the line art. Because you can see if I zoom out and I'm not using a camera, the lines are just everywhere. Where it's meant to be seen from where the camera is seeing it. But if I go into the camera and hook the camera to my view, then every time I move the camera, the lines will follow. So that's really cool. And that is about everything in the line art modifier. It's really simple to use. And I think it adds a lot of style to anything that you're trying to make in Blender. But thank you for watching, and goodbye.